dermoid cyst, if they are less than 5 centimeters, mm -hmm. then it is not a real rush that we need to go and get this taken out or like a surgery. So you have a dermoid cyst on the right side measuring around one and a half centimeter on the left side measuring around three centimeters it contains fat hair water inside okay. this is not a cancer cyst and you have on both the ovaries so this happens in 10 percent of the patients it is not looking like cancer at all on the scan and the this type of cyst they don't behave as cancer it's very unlikely the chance of that happening is less than one percent now on the left side, in addition to the dermoid cyst, you have another type of cyst which is known as endometriosis, endometrioma. So this is the cyst that contains whole blood inside. The, the endometrioma happens because your lining of the womb is present outside your womb. And if it is present in the ovary, that can bleed every month and it can accumulate blood inside. Or let's say that it might not go away on its own. It can increase in size. It can give rise to pain, painful periods, pain during sexual contact. Because the size is small, you can still fall pregnant naturally. It might not be that you, you're gonna find it difficult to get pregnant. Because you are young, your egg reserve is good. So there is a chance that you might get pregnant naturally. But this just won't disappear on its own. Okay, so what about the, the flow? The yes, flow. so now the third thing that I can see on the scan is your womb lining is slightly thicker than average and there is a possibility that your womb lining is thickened in one place and it has changed into an endometrial polyp. Flow, blow, it doesn't stop. My flow, blow doesn't stop. It goes over and over the months. So that is because of the endometrial polyp. So that we will take it out and your periods will get better. And come normal. Yes.